April has been Alcohol Awareness Month and it's been a great time to support those with addiction problems. And there's a way to include those who don't drink at your next party or family gathering, and that is by making mocktails. Joining me today is registered dietitian Erica Ber Barrera, who is going to show us some delicious mocktails and how they are healthy and we can make any time. Exactly. And I, and I love one that we're going to show in a little bit. I just got to get that out of the way. <laughs> I love that. I'm looking forward to it. But let's start down here about, of course, the healthy choices in making these mocktails. Yeah, so when you're making a mocktail, you always want to think about what ingredients you put in there. And when we think about health benefits, um, of course, I love to use fruit just to add some flavor, but also yeah. some color. So here we have a tart cherry and lime spritzer. Okay. And what it is, is our main ingredient, tart cherry juice, which is great for inflammation, muscle soreness, and also can help with quality of sleep. Nice. And do you buy this, can you buy this on like the shelf or do you yeah. have to make it? You can um, buy it at any grocery store. Okay. Yep. And then we have some lime juice in there and then you're just going to top it off with some soda water or even some s flavored sparkling water. There oh. we go. Whoop. And L put a little more in there. <laughs> <laughs> but that looks good. So, yes. I mean, and that's very healthy, very easy to have, and very refreshing. Exactly, so we'll exactly. We'll get it, don't worry. Okay. We'll get, someone will get it. There we go. All right. Let's move down here, because this is the one that I'm loving, that I am so used to, you know, just even for my cocktails, I pour a lot of the uh, fruit syrups and stuff in there to give it some flavor. Yes. But now I don't have to, because I never, I never thought about doing it this no, way. No, fruit has that natural sugar in there. So what you can do is, so here I have some fresh berries, and you can get... Um, something like this to muddle it together or just to smash that fruit and that all those juices and all those nutrients are going to come out. Um, and I muddled it with some fresh uh, mint leaves, Ooh. some lemon juice. You strain it over ice and then I won't do this again, but, but then, then you're going to pour some sparkling water, some soda water on top. Yeah, these are very easy to do and very cool refreshing as we move into the warm weather. And yes. so, but very nice to have out there. So. Exactly. Okay. Bloody Marys. You know, everybody's <laughs> like, oh, Bloody Mary, I got to have my Bloody Mary and everything like that. But you can have a virgin Bloody Mary mock one, right? Yes. And um, if you don't like a Bloody Mary, there's also like Micheladas, oh. which it's kind of what I have here. And and what it is is 100% tomato juice, which okay. is going to give you that vitamin C, lycopene for cancer prevention. There's also lime juice in there, black pepper for anti-inflammatory properties, um, and then some Worcestershire sauce, hot sauce to make it spicy. And then again, we're replacing that alcohol with the soda water or a sparkling water. I see you really push the soda water right now, yes. right? That just keeps you hydrated, <laughs> but also gives that little, like, Taste of love, almost having like a yeah. cocktail. Yeah, so like when you have some carbonated beverages like beer, a lot of people like that, you know, that texture like that. So. And from it. So, um, what what fruit do you recommend not to like use? I mean, some people say there's some fruits that you should not use for when you're wanting to make a, a mocktail because of just, I mean, the high in sugar and stuff, and maybe like you know different things. Yeah, you ideally want to use a fruit that has a lot of water content in it. Yeah. So like melons, watermelons, a great one. The berries. Um, that, you know, anything like apples or, you know, bananas or things like that are going to be harder to get that juice, juice out. out of so instead of um, something like a muddle, you can use 100% fruit juice there instead. So that's good for you, too. Yeah, like and it. it's no added sugars. It's the 100% juice from the yeah. fruit is so, what we're and, focusing on. Yes, and even in these, you drink in moderation because, again, they still, once you start drinking more and more, you're going to have a lot of sugar and stuff. So you drink <laughs> in moderation, right? Yeah. But still good. Mm-hmm. So. Very hydrating, and again, you're going to get those health benefits from like there. It. But if people are going to have um, cocktails for friends and family and beers, you said here goes what is very healthy to have over here, right? Yeah, so when we talk about excessive alcohol consumption, um, that's going to be more than two, two drinks in a day or eight or more drinks in a week. Wow. So here are standard drink sizes of a 12 ounce beer, uh -huh. a five ounce wine, and a one and a half ounce of a liquor. Wow. Okay, yeah, so of course the recommendation is to avoid alcohol and in, you know indulge Enjoy in them. healthy mocktails. Yeah. Um, but if you are going to drink, try not to drink more yeah. than that two drinks. Yeah, it's very interesting that people love to have a drink in their hand, and I've watched friends who yeah. will have an actual cocktail, but they won't drink it because they won't have it in their hands. <laughs> Uh, now they don't have to do that. They can have a mocktail in their hand. Exactly. Yeah. I love it. 
Erica, where can we find more information? Yeah, so you can find more information. Um, there's a alcohol awareness website that yeah. gives you more details yeah. about that. Um, and then for mocktail recipes, you can find them um, online or on my social media there at Leafy is. Nutrition. There, perfect. And of course, we'll have information on the CW7AZ.com website. So thank you.